Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew and today I want to do an unboxing for this OIVO. OIVO dock. It's a horizontal dock for your PlayStation 5. Now, this here is going to, let me read this. Um, and I want to thank OIVO for sending this to the channel so that we can check this out. Now, I know that a lot of people were a little bit worried about their PlayStation 5s, the liquid metal, heating up, all of that stuff. Um, as a PlayStation 5 owner myself, obviously that stand, to put it on that stand, it, it doesn't sit right. It's going to wobble. You want something a little bit more secure. Now, these are $39.99 over at Walmart. Now, I understand Sony probably should have done something a little bit better for a, a horizontal stand for the PlayStation 5. It looks tacky, so... We're going to check this out and see how this would look with it. Not only does this here have a, not only is this just, um, not only, this isn't just a stand. Okay, this thing here has a charger, wireless charger, wireless charger for, for two chargers. Um, it has extra cooling for the, uh, for the PlayStation 5 vents as well, so you can get a little bit more cooling. Uh, there are three different settings for the fan on this one, I believe. I, I, they didn't send me any, like, talking points or anything like that. This is just me reading the box and, you know, saying, yeah, man, I would definitely take a look at that to see if that is worth, you know, recommending for those, for, for people to, to get. So you do get a warranty card with this. Okay. So a warranty card. So you can get a warranty. Uh... I mean, if you're one of the people that are out there and you're kind of worried about your PlayStation 5, man, like, I get it, dude. Like, 500 bucks is, 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 is a pretty good amount of money for a, for a console. So this side right here, this, this here is what is, like, kind of, kind of interesting to me. So you see right here, like, it is going to have the screw slot that you're going to be able to fit your PlayStation in there. So... This right here is a foam pad, so if you have the uh, digital one, the digital version, you'll just leave that foam pad in that place. But if you have the uh, disc version like mine, you just pull that out and then it's got like some little rubber stops right here that you can uh, cradle your PlayStation 5 in. Nestled under there is the uh, hardware to screw this onto your PlayStation. Now, I am going to unplug my PlayStation and, uh, and set it up on here. Just for user's sake, but I'll tell you what, I do not believe, oh no, dude, I didn't freaking, I didn't shut it down right. Oh, I still got it hooked up that way, so yeah, let me just, uh, I believe it's on here, set to number one. I gotta power it down right. I gotta, sorry man, I just gotta power it down right. With my dual sense edge. I believe it's still hooked up to the, to, to there. It should be. Feels like, yeah. Maybe that's the wrong one. I don't feel like that input is right. I feel like two is for the. Oh, yeah, there it is. Wow, it's never done that before. I am on the beta right now. Oh, that's why I got a new beta. I got a new beta thing on there. All right, so let me go to settings. Not settings. I'm going to go ahead and turn this baby off. Power it off. We're going to turn off PS5 completely. No. I don't know, man. It's always been like, it's always been like that. Now I do have like a, a knockoff, you know, charger for my PlayStation Five controllers already, but uh, this is. Let's see if that that baby's off. Yep, that thing is off. So we'll go ahead and disconnect that and the power cable. All right, pull down the PlayStation. Now, we're going gonna to go ahead and, and get this thing set up onto this. So, I do have to grab my screwdriver.
my trusty, trusty screwdriver was over there. So, I will take the big, beautiful PlayStation, lay it on its side. Go ahead and pull this screw out of there. And then I will insert the new, insert the new dock thing. I'm curious to see how it's going to sit, to tell you the truth. Like, I want to see how it's going to sit. As you can see, like, my new, uh, my new, my new setup is not going to allow. Okay, so that does fit. Okay, so this actually does kind of clip all the way on there so it fits nice and firm. Nice, nice. We'll go ahead and pull this little hardware, piece of hardware out of there. You can take that tape off. You'll grab the screw, stick it in the slot, give it a little tug with your finger. Um, I mean, it is kind of big enough that you can get your fingers on there, but I would rather just use a screwdriver. Don't tighten it down too tight. And there you have it. Like it does, and, and I mean, it looks clean. It fits on there perfect. It really is nice and perfect on that. Dang, I got a lot of scratches on that from my my thing. So we'll go ahead and stand that up because it will still kind of technically stand up a little bit. And we'll open up the second part of it. Now the second part of the stand is gonna. This is where your little fan things are gonna be. There is a button on here that you can change the different fan speeds. Now, and that looks like it is going to essentially hook on like that. Yeah, even that fits in there nice and nice and nice and good. Let me move my keyboard out of my way just a little bit. Sorry, Series S. You're gonna have to kind of move. Why would you turn yourself on? Series S wants to be on as well. Go ahead and set that over there. Set the PlayStation on its side. So this here is going to add, it looks like, a couple of inches. And that thing fell out. So it is going to add like a little, like a couple of inches or whatever to the overall footprint of the PlayStation 5. Let me see if I can, no, no, I'm not gonna be able to do that. I will, I'll, I'll add, I'll add like another video from my phone onto this one. So that is gonna add like a couple of inches, but is what it does is it also comes with this adapter that will plug in on the front of the PlayStation, on the front of the charger, and then it'll come down and you can plug that right into the center. And that will give you the ability to, uh, to, to go ahead and run that fan to give your PlayStation a little bit of extra cooling. And then you will stick these little wireless things into the end of your controllers. Into your dual sense. You'll just stick that bad baby in there, boop, and then you'll set them on that little charging thing. Um, let's see. Away. <laughs> this is a little bit hard for me to use. This here is my my DualSense Edge. Stick one of those in that as well. Looks like it is compatible with that as well. So yeah, if you have the DualSense Edge, it is compatible. That feels pretty. You know what, man? That actually does not look bad. Let me see if I. Oh, I don't have enough camera room. I don't have enough. I don't have enough length on the camera to turn it around. But I can pick it up. show you 
that it will hold both your DualSense Edge and your regular DualSense. And as you can see, I mean, it does feel, feel mostly stable. You see the cord right here in front that's going down and around. Honestly, guys, I might actually actually consider moving this away or moving this to a point where where I can actually maybe use that so um, yeah it comes with the charging cord you'll get the you'll get the little booklet with it tells you all the how to how to, how to get that all charged up This is not, this isn't, this isn't too bad, man, for 40 bucks. And it'll, it'll give you some extra. So the fans are sucking in from the bottom and then blowing in through the top. Kind of want to, kind of want to, let me see if my uh, Xbox plug will fit in that. Just move the Xbox Series S out of the way. All right now, I think the Xbox. I just want to see if the power is going to. Where's the plug at? Oh, I'd have to turn the PlayStation on before I could do that. All right, well, I will test that out right now, but I want to put the, I need like the, I want to, I want to make sure I've got the PlayStation's actual plug in there before I go. Oh, oh wait, actually I got those all tied up, so I can't do that. All right. Um. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to test that. But yeah, I'll just do it with the freaking Xbox cord. Doesn't matter, whatever. Oh. <laughs> Having everything in the way is so hard. Well, this new setup that I've built for this, you guys, I... Let me get this plugged into there. All right. Now let's. All right. Turning it on. Yes. Okay. So there's an actual blue light inside the charging dock as well that uh, comes on. All right. Uh, another cord in the back of this thing. Oh, my goodness. I just don't remember where the Ethernet cord goes. And it can barely fill back here. Man. LAN is connected. I want to see something real quick. Because now it's 2.1. Apparently this still doesn't support that. So let's see if it's actually charging these controllers. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. So it is. It is charging them. That is nice. So. I'll actually have to get you a picture of this one. So. All right, man. I'm going to switch to my phone and finish this video out. This is pretty cool, man. I do like this. If you want to lay it flat, it does. It does. It does actually look. You'll see in the next video that I make with it. So, if you like this content, um, well, I'll say that. I'll say my outro with the other one. So, all right, man. We'll see you guys in just a minute. Actually, wait. Where did my mouse go? Yeah, I lost my mouse. I lost my mouse. All right, we are back. So here is what it looks like sitting flat. So it actually doesn't look too bad. You got the disc tray under there. You got your button right here so you can turn your fan speed up. You got both of your battery, your, your uh, charging. So you'll, you'll have the green light to show that you're charging. You've got the fan back there that you can change the speed. Okay, that's off. There's no fan. That's low. And that's the fastest one. There's three speeds with that. And then as you can see over here on the front, you've got the two things for the controllers to, to, to sit in the dock. We'll just get that uh, nice little OVO. You can see the blue light underneath it. That's where the two fans are working down there. So uh, yeah, man, this thing's not too bad for 40 bucks. I mean, that's not a bad deal. And it makes it sit nice and flat. You've got your cord right here. Plugs right into the front. It is a USB type 3 all the way to there. Right to the front. It's USB on both of them. It does have the uh, it does have the L-shaped brackets on it. So if you guys like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And thank you for watching.